Howdy hi, it's Wilson in the experimental world. Uh, he's going to run around and grab some stuff while, we're, while I'm talking. Uh, when the uh, Spanish explorers back after Columbus were uh, running around in the most inhabitable, uninhabitable parts of North America, one of the things they were looking for was Cibola and the uh, seven lost cities of gold. Well, today I woke up and uh, Gamers Forever 117 dumped the seven cities of gold in my lap. And <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what in God's name to do with it, or whoever's name. I know he was, I knew he was right. Mate, let me make sure I've got the name right. I think I probably called him Gamers for Life a few times, and I apologize for that. Alright, Gamers Forever 117, because I think we're all going to wind up owing him a hell of a debt. Uh, I knew he'd been ratting around in the game code, and I admire him for that. <laughs> but what he's been doing is digging out all the Lua code for, for names of things. And, and he sent me a message with, it's just unreal what's on it. So what I'm going to try to do is go through this stuff. And, and plug each one of them in in this world tell you what I'm doing but I think I can also blow them up on my uh, on my uh, computer monitor which isn't a monitor anyway it's a 46 inch TV <laughs> uh, I'm disabled I do the the whole computer thing from a sofa with a pile of pillows under me because I can't sit and <laughs> a TV screen so anyway but that's neither here nor there but what I think I could do is blow his actual list up and record it so what I'll try to do is record his list and go so through some of these items because I don't want you to have to read it, watch every second of this to try to find uh, Ghost or Amulet or Red Gem or Gears and I'm just looking at his uh, list out of the corner of my eye as I'm saying this. And it's just a really amazing list. Uh, what we have to do is we have to find an area that's kind of light. I think down here would be fine. Uh, absolutely all credit for this goes to him. I didn't do. I just sat here with my thumb in, and uh, it was here on the doorstep today. I think I may go brew some coffee so I can do this. There, there's kind of a minute of culture shock when I'm trying to. I've only been doing videos since mid-October of last year, and it's like, how in God's name do I put this together? So, what I'm going to try to do is do that. Now, one more time for everybody that hasn't got it. Uh, there's a key. It's called the tilde key. On my keyboard, it's above the tab key. It's a wavy line. You press it. It opens the chat box. You type in, I'm, I apologize to people who have seen this, but I don't know any other way to do this fairly. You type in debug and then spawn. There are no spaces anywhere in this. If it's a two word in the little area I'm about to do, it gets a uh, underline uh, mark in the in the what would be the blank. All right, quotation marks. And the reason you haven't heard about them is I said parentheses in all the previous videos, so I edited it out. <laughs> I figured you'd see the quotation marks. I don't know. I guess this is pretty damn tiny on a monitor. So, and I think I've caused some problems with that. All right, what I'm going here is a ghost. And I try normally not to do stuff that will eat my face, but it's the first one on his list. So let's see if we can... Now, it should spawn wherever your cursor is. <laughs> and and all, all this information about uh, using the up arrow to paste it back in the box, to that it spawns where the... None of this came from me. It came from you viewers, and I appreciate it. So, all right, we should get a ghost. There you go. <laughs> now it's going to come eat my face. All right, so ghost. The next thing on his list, <laughs> fortuitously. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just funny. I it's, uh, I did McTuskany ate my face. Uh, he's walrus. 
All right, the next item on the list fortuitously. But anyway, go back to your tilde key, which is the wavy line. All right, whoops, did I already do it? Probably did. What an ass. All right, use your up arrow. You get debug spawn. You get what you just did, okay? Now, what Jackass Me suggested, instead of... Uh, now, I could spawn another ghost. Obviously, that's not the best thing to do. Now, this also stops your clock in your game because you're playing with the code. All right, what Jackass Me suggested was even if you don't want another ghost, rather than continually writing debug spawn or what I was doing, which was degub spawn. <laughs> Uh, I can't play type and uh, you should have seen me in Warhammer. Chat was not my thing. I could kick ass on Warhammer, but chat was not my thing. All right, get rid of all that. And amulet should give us an amulet. Now, I have his permission to do all this stuff, and, and I told him what, what I was going to try to do with the, this video. All right, so we have an amulet. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to do this where I put the actual list as a background. Now, when I'm doing that, I won't be in the game. So, I don't know if I'll run my mouth or, or do a little dance in my living room or whatever while we're doing that. But, uh, what's the next item? Next item is Red Jim. You've probably seen that. All right. Uh, Again, up arrow. Get rid of amulet. Put uh, red gem. Again, you'll notice no spaces. Hit enter key. I don't think I said that. Okay, red gem. All right, back to the tilde key. Up arrow. Uh, Man, I got rid of the quotes. What an ass. What's next? Gears. This one will be a. a a savior since they did what they did to the ice boxes. Now I didn't put this crap in the game. If you want to use it, use it. If you do not want to use it, do not use it. If you want to use it selectively, which kind of makes sense to me, please do. Uh, it's your game. You bought it. Use anything. You know. To me, this information is out there. I'm not telling you to cheat in the game or anything else. I'm not even saying this is a cheat. It's up to you what you use. It's available in the damn game. The developers put this in the game. Do whatever the hell you want. All right, we got gears. Next. And see, you want next is blue gem. I think you can figure that one out. Next is nightmare fuel. Again, no spaces. And we have nightmare fuel. Back to the tilde, back to the up arrow. What's next? Something neat. Okay, now we get into the trinkets. And some of these will probably hit some that I have no clue what the hell they do. And uh, I did ask him because trinkets go up to number 12. So, trinket. Then, an underline because this one has 12 different trinkets available. Alright, number one. Close the quotation marks. Where's my, okay, there's where my cursor is. All right, that's the Melty Marbles. Trinkets are grave trash. Again, this is, uh, hold on just a second. Again, this is Gamers Forever 117. And I'm repeating this because this is just absolutely flipping amazing. It really is. I re this is, I don't, I, and to uh, have it given to me is like, excuse me. This is, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm flabbergasted. Okay. So, but anyway, 1 through 12 are grave trash. Get rid of all of Trinket. There are 12. Uh, meat. Is meat, <laughs> oddly enough. Where are we? Uh, poop is manure. Okay, let's do a cute one here. I know this one's going to break all your hearts. Now, I've done uh, the Tam O'Shanner in another video, and it is Walrus Hat. Okay, where are we? Trunk. Underline key. Winter. Come on, work with me. That's the Winter Colophon Trunk. 
or koala front actually I thought it was co I thought I was mispronouncing it but it is evidently based on a koala front okay oddly enough trunk summer is a normal koala front uh, where are we monster meat is monster meat again no spaces there isn't a, it's a continuous word and like I said I'm going to try to uh, enlarge this on my screen and film the list evergreen uh, with what I'm calling a dash which is the underline mark evergreen underline alright we have a normal a short and a tall and I tried to do this one and of course I wasn't even uh, on the map on this alright we need to oh we can't pan out while we're in Lua Oh, that's an evergreen. He's got it down as a tree guard. Huh. Alright, that should have been a tree guard tall. Huh. So I don't know about that one. Alright, you're obviously going to find some that aren't... Uh... Okay, let's do that again. Let's do normal. I think I've got short, normal, and tall. Yep. Yep, that's a normal evergreen. So... I don't know. Uh... I do know I'm not worried about it. <laughs> you know, okay, so not everything on the list may work, all right? Ah, tall bird's net, tall bird nest. Now, I was just talking to Eddie about that. He mentioned that putting tall birds in a world that should have had them that didn't is not a cheat. And I told, oh, crap. Uh, totally agree with that. I was just looking at that to see if I screwed that up somehow. Well, you could try it and see what you turn out on the tree guards. Uh, where are we? A hound is a hound, a fire hound is a fire hound, an ice hound is an ice hound. <laughs> I will not be doing any of these. Alright, I have no way of knowing if uh, any of these are active or not in the sense that I don't know if a tall bird nest will spawn a tall bird. Because he mentioned putting, Eddie mentioned putting tall birds. Well, there you go, it does. So that's the complete gig, and he will kill our house. <laughs> We have broken the rule of not spawning anything that will kill you. <laughs> That's why I was doing teen birds, if you wondered. I just woke up and not everything is functioning yet. This is just too important to blow off, though. No, I don't mean blow off, but, you know. All right, there you go. Boy, wouldn't you love to see a screen full of those little rat turds? And I'm sure he's active if you get close enough. Now... Uh, and no, I don't know if the knight will fight the tall bird. It probably would. And I'll probably die doing it. And I hate you all for even suggesting it. What? You didn't suggest it. Am I hearing those voices again? I guess he... Well, let's spawn him at the nest. We'll fix his little ass. If you hear a tall bird beating the stuff out of a knight, let me know. There you go. We'll see how that turns out. All right, now I want a pig king. But you could just, I don't know, I think you could just spend a lot of time just playing with this. It's just kind of fun to play with. And you can make merm pig wars, spider queens, deer clops, you know, it's just a... Uh, it's just kind of fun to, to be able to mess with a game instead of the game messing with you, in a word. All right, we have invented this creature. And he gives gold! Well, you big old fat bastard. What about this? And people... Oh, there you go. There's our fight. Now, how in the hell would you ever do that without this? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Just beat his ass. I'm betting on the tall bird. Ha ha! I was right. Once you've done so many of these simulated fights, you begin to know... I could stun lock you. Whoops, if I'm not chopping a tree. Oh my god, I died. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the ambulance. <laughs> oh, no, this is too funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have lost the commentator. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh no, get off <laughs> go go do something else, you big bastard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
Oh no, I may not survive. All right, I'm gonna see if I can record these lists and put them in this sucker. Uh, what I'm and, and I'm gonna blow up the lists and uh, uh, film my screen. And I I can't think of uh, since he generated this, I can't think they were violating any copyrights anywhere. Okay, here it is, The Seven Cities of Gold, brought to you by Gamers Forever 117. Yo, dude, this is my Lua list. Hi, dude, I've been working on this for ages. This is the Lua codes for Don't Starve. Alright, I think we were at Log. Wait a minute, I have trouble seeing the top of this. This may be a little uh, widgy-wise. I hope it's big enough. I, I, I've never tried anything like this before. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. I hope I'm not infringing any copyrights and I'll certainly give credit to them if I am. Just let me know what the hell they were. It looks to me, all right, we've got the teleporter. I don't know if we've passed wormhole or not. I I was trying to count. I'm trying to do 1001, 1002, 1003. Ew, hound, moan, hound mound looks like an unknown. So, like I said, some of these may do you no good at this point in the game. I don't know. Or may do you no good ever. Pig Torch is kind of interesting. Merm House, Marble Pillars, boy, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? Statue Harps and Unknown. It give you. A, uh, there's a lot of spoilers in this. Uh, all right, he was wondering on this collapse big if that refers to caves. There's been a lot of speculation about caves, and. Uh, I wonder if pigs hold torches. Pig torch fuel. Or maybe it's made out of a pig. Marsh plant. Uh, pig guard. Yeah, let's pound about a thousand durian into the game. Tall bird egg cracked. You gotta wonder if it goes on and hatches. Okay, that'd be all of it. Uh, I gotta think. Wal Wal Little Walrus is uh, wee tusk. I was trying for him. Uh, walrus dart. Walrus tusk. Walrus hat is a tam o' shanter. Frost breath. I don't have a hot clue unless it's puts on the screen your breath, but maybe it does something else. Shadow hands, shadow watcher, shadow skittish, creep eyes. So like I said, I hope I haven't infringed anything by doing this. I guess we'll find out. Somebody will come and poop down my YouTube channel. As I said before, all credit for this, absolutely all credit for this goes to uh, Gamers Forever 117. That's just that is one of the most amazing things anyone has ever, probably the most amazing thing anyone has ever handed me. And and the viewers have made this channel. You guys really have. Uh, I, I will not start in on a list of names because there are too many of you that have contributed in a lot of ways. A lot of you have generated entire videos with your comments and suggestions and your questions. And uh, that's... I, it may actually make this this kind of unique. I honestly don't know about that. Uh, but 
I can't thank all of you enough. You make this channel work, and uh, it, nothing but <laughs> but good things in the future. <laughs> I laughed my ass off this time. That's a good video. All right, y'all take care of yourselves, and uh, <laughs> Wilson says, golly, what'd you get off of me? It's for science, Wilson, buddy. It's for science. You brought this on yourself, Mr. Faust. <laughs> take care of yourselves. Bye.